Right back to it. Right into the scene. Oh snap! Oh, we have a dead person on our hands. Yeah. I saw right. The madam to her chambers. She is utterly exhausted. What do you expect? As if being captured by goons and tossed into prison wasn't exhausting enough. She learned her brother died too. She apparently heard of Klein's fate when she was taken. She is surprisingly calm given the circumstances. Jude, how's Mila? She was fortunate to have someone with medical expertise nearby. And your healing arts were a real boon. They helped stop the hemorrhaging. Oh, geez. She has lost a great deal of strength, however. These next few hours will be crucial. Dang, that's pretty bad. Please, get some rest, everyone. I'll I'm take sure care of her. Where he was talking to there, by the way. Should yeah. You rest as well, Doctor? You've been using spirit arts all day. You must be exhausted. Now, hold on a second. I can say the same of you. And I'm not even a doctor. Can handle this. <laughs> no, he can't. <laughs> I lied. Never mind. <laughs> you come rest. Yeah, he starts that conversation looking away from the two people who were possibly yeah, healing her. I, that's, I was like, why is he looking at Rowan? It's fine. Rowan didn't heal. Oh, he's offended by that. You Seth. offend Jude. I know she will. You all should get some rest, too. I want to help, too, if it's okay with you. And then I'll strangle Tipo with his sleep. This isn't my specialty, so I'm going to turn in. Okay. Meanwhile, upstairs. In the room of dead people slash dying people. Their dumb hair just sticks out, and now we have a montage! Montage! What kind <laughs> of song should we be using for this montage? Um, we can't do Rocky. The saddest ones possible. Uh, are there any of those? <laughs> are there any famous themes that are sad? Um, montage themes. I keep thinking of Mad World. It's not really a sad song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It works! It is a Mad World right now. And all around her were familiar faces. <laughs> it would seem the worst is over. Yes, she's breathing normally again. I think she'll be okay. Now it's your turn to get some rest. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right. I tell Elise and Alvin. I don't need that. Oh, there you are. I'm a dead girl. Thank goodness. Okay. Now we can thank Mila for the jailbreak. Yes. Where's Alvin? I'm not really sure now that you mention it. I'll go find him. All right, here we go. My time to play as Jude. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love Alvin. the idea of his theme being the Terminator theme. <laughs> That's so cool. Why not? <laughs> you just had to put some, like, I don't know, half cybernetic implants in him. and Yeah. You can do thumbs up and lava. Yeah, sounds good. Go back in time to find John Kimball. <laughs> Get the Arnold accent. Jude, what happened to you? I think he's at the inn. Well, don't remember for sure. I think this is rot, though. Yeah. Probably getting wasted. Oh, he's being flirty. Talking to a girl. <laughs> yeah. uh. Good news. I know. She's out of the woods, right? Uh, yeah. How'd you know? It's written all over your face. Hey, have you ever heard what folks call this city? No, not really. The city of hails and farewells. It's a waypoint for travelers. They stock up on supplies here before heading out. And people returning from a journey unload their surplus <laughs> goods here. <laughs> you mean Mew. Yes. Clearly. I couldn't have picked a better place. What do you mean? That woman I was chatting with. She's my new employer. Huh? You're bailing on us? Why risk my life to accomplish someone else's suicide run? 
That's no way for a mercenary to make a living. Mila's just trying to complete her mission. What about my mission? Any idea what it might be? What? How should I know? I don't know either. Does anybody? How many people do you know have a mission in life? One they're willing to risk their lives for? <sighs> What's your mission, kid? I just want to help Mila. That's all. Fine. Nothing wrong with that. You could help her too. I'll swing by to say goodbye before you all leave. <laughs> well. <laughs> He's so sad. Jude, it's okay, buddy. Back to the Cheryl Manor then, yes. We might as well stock up on food while we're here. We <laughs> gotta feed the Mila once she wakes up. She's gonna be starving. Uh, that's right, it's expensive food. <laughs> oh, God. Um, good food. Problem is, like, even as good as these percentages are, the experience in Gallad are not that high right now, and they've been doubled because of New Game Plus. We'll buy one of these. That's it. That's it. It looks delicious. Yum, I'm yum. sure Mila will love it. We have lots of other ones to eat first, then we'll worry about restocking. Hails and farewells. Huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good talk, everyone. It also sounds like a metaphor for death. Just saying, we had a man die today. Yes, farewell, um, Lord yes. Klein. Yeah. God, he almost died once and then actually died. Yeah, he got uh, wrecked. Yeah, he really did. Not a not a good day for him. A nice shot, too. Yeah, it was pretty spot on. From across the rooftops, over the plaza, into yeah. the heart. Yeah. With a crossbow. Yes. <laughs> it's very impressive. Oh, a window is open. How did he even see that? The window's open to get out the smell of dead person. Oh, God, you're right. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The second floor window is open. That means Mila's awake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Did someone die again? There's something I should tell you. Uh, okay. We don't know if we're black. She has hepatitis Q. It can't be. Uh. What? What is happening, Thankfully, you guys? There's a convenient fade out slash blackout <laughs> <laughs> to save the reveal for when it'll be more impactful. Oh my god. Even though technically Jude is our narrator of sorts here. Yeah. He's our, he's our perspective. Oh. Your legs. Yes. No tingling, no pain, no anything. Oh, no! She can't walk? Oh, my God! Jude, where's my sword? Don't be ridiculous. You have to rest. I have rested long enough. I must get to Fenmont. You're still going on about your mission? That's all over now. Don't you get it? What gives you the right to make that decision? Decision? Don't be stubborn. There is no choice here. You don't have any strength left. You can't even walk, let alone wield a sword. You have to accept reality. Jude, do you remember the people of Hamil? Huh? They were forced into a situation they didn't choose, and they didn't have the strength to fight against it. Well, yeah, maybe things would have turned out differently for them if they were stronger. So what is strength exactly? Is it something you wield to fend off attackers? Is it something you use to control the four great spirits? Is it something that lets you walk on your own two legs? It's none of those things. Not real strength. You just won't give up, will you? I can't give up. My mission won't let me. I must keep moving forward. Even if your body won't move at all? That's who I am. <sighs> uh, okay. Good talk. So I guess she's going to crawl her way to Fenmon. I don't <laughs> know what the plan was there exactly. Yeah. But... <laughs> Crush the Mew. <laughs> Mew, you must comfort me by being in pain. Oh, good morning. 
Is something on your mind? It's just that a long time ago, my father healed a patient who had lost the use of his legs. Really? Yes, really. So I was thinking we could visit my hometown, La Ronde. Oh my god! Bringing her home to see the folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. You were so determined to hold me back yesterday. I was. I don't know why. I'm not sure what changed. Huh. If you say so. I just know there's nothing I can do to stop you. Even if you can't walk, you'll just crawl away and get into trouble. Sounds about right. <laughs> you really are. A do gooder? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm in your hands. Right. We can reach Laurent by boat, so let's head to Sapstrath Sea Haven. All right, well. Yay! I'm so Giselle, excited. You have my gratitude. And you have my hopes for a full recovery. Please take the utmost caution on your journey. I'm truly sorry we cannot accompany you. No need to apologize. You have much to keep you occupied here. Drissel's life is about to get very busy. She'll need your guidance. Yes. You're really leaving? Yeah. Take care, okay? You don't have to worry about being lonely anymore. Drissel and Rowan will keep you company. I know, but still... We should get moving. Everyone, you've been a great help. I'm in your debt. Time to hit the road. Thanks, all of you. Super pals, don't split up. We stay together forever. No, Tipo, shut up. I hope we get to see them soon. Probably. All we gotta do is heal our legs. So, they're really continuing on. So be it. Um. Well, that's mm. awfully cryptic. Hmm. Alvin, you're being extremely suspicious. So here's our party. Oh, she can't fight. Oh, that's a problem. Well. <laughs> so we will not be fighting. <laughs> yeah. If we can help it. Jude's hometown. Oh my God. I'm eager to see what your hometown is like. It's just a normal little boondocks town. It did used to be a famous mining colony, though. Since you're human, you must have parents. Are they a lot like you? I don't know about that. Aren't you looking forward to seeing them? Hmm. <laughs> My parents tend to prioritize work. We don't always get along. I've read about child-parent relationships. There's something called an Oedipus complex. I'm pretty sure that's not it. <laughs> ah, so yours is more of the scheming, backstabbing sort of family? Exactly what sort of books are you reading? <laughs> All of the crazy ones? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't really been able to vet what type of book she's using, Woo! so... It's a question mark right now, for sure. Yes. It's difficult to say. There are a million enemies on the map right now. Yes, there are. I it's like... <laughs> There's a bag there, and I don't care about it. Yeah. I don't want it. Don't blame you. Uh oh. Uh oh. The storm clouds. Oh no. Now horses. Better call it a day. Good Horse, idea. you should be fine. It's only snakes that freak you out. <laughs> horses love rain. <laughs> they just love being in rain. They like the mud in their hooves. How did hooks. you become such an amazing cook? I can't even boil water without burning it. That's not true. Anybody can become a good cook with practice. Everyone has their own mission. <laughs> so you're saying my mission is to cook for Mila Maxwell? Well, in my current state, I can't even do that. I can't make dinner. I can't even make a bed anymore. Yeah, you kind of need your legs for everything. Don't, don't worry. I'll do that stuff for you from now on. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, I'm dying.
Hey. Sit closer. Ah, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, all right. I want to thank you. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Dude, what are you looking at? He's like looking down. <gasps> oh, she's putting it on. Oh, that's so cute. You can see it better, but somebody insisted on <gasps> mews and baouls in the way. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. Ah, uh, that's so cute. You guys, they're breaking my heart over here. Uh, this is too much. They're the cutest. Mila's pendant. Do I get to wear it? Does it do anything? No. Dang it. I'm texting Dave. He's bothering me. Oh. Dave, we're on air. You can't do this right now. No, Dave. I don't have restaurant recommendations for Albuquerque. <laughs> Albuquerque. I've never... Well, if I have been there, it was just passing through. You're not missing anything. You've <laughs> been through. Oh, I, yeah. One of the Colorado trips, I'm sure we went that way. But. Oh, yeah. Sometime today. Glad to hear it. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Um, you guys, what if it... Uh, Christ, what? Okay. The horse is right to leave. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. That's fine. Good luck. I got this. <laughs> He's not even doing anything. I'll just attack him. Beat him to death. Oh, I walked into the second hit. Who knew? He's a crafty one. I forgot how well, to do Sunspark. I didn't forget how to do that again. <laughs> oh, well. Right? No, that's Aqua Sweep. Left? No, that's Talon Storm. What, what did I hit? Up? No. <laughs> that was a button then. Well, I'm dumb. There it is. Right in circle. Oh. I keep forgetting about my... Uh... You can sit here and block these. That's fine. <laughs> really, the only way? Yeah, but I think so, given yeah. the circumstances. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to die here. Mila, you okay? That was sure. pretty crazy. I'm fine. But now what? H hey. Hold tight. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's, it's happening. The ship on legs is happening. Oh my god, it's the best. This game it's so good. 10 out of 10. Best tails. <laughs> ah! It's fine. There's a B. It's B is what oh I wanted. Oh my god. That's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, it's snuck underneath. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> All right. We won't take any fights. I was just joshing you. <laughs> Are your legs okay? If they start to hurt, just say so. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ah, it's the best. Fighting alone really makes you realize how fortunate we were to fight by people like Rowan. I can't agree more. It isn't every day you get to ally with Ilbert the Conductor. What's the reason behind his nickname? They say it's because he gains full control of the battlefield. He once crushed three armies in a single day. What? That's amazing. A miracle, and it helped create the Rashigal we know today. I could tell he was no normal man. But I had no idea that he was such a famous tactician. It was such an incredible honor to fight beside a living legend like that. And how might it feel to fight beside the Lord of Spirits herself? Uh-oh. Oh! Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing at all. Uh-oh. Oh, shots oh, no. fired! Oh, no, she's going Sundari on us. Oh! <laughs> not like this. <laughs> she needs her legs to not be a Sundari. <laughs> you carry me 
on your back like this. I can't help but remember flying with Sil. Ah. She thinks she's flying. No one cares about Elise. <laughs> you don't need to worry. I wonder what Alvin's next job is going to be. I hope it isn't anything too dangerous. He wouldn't last long as a mercenary if he turned down dangerous work. <laughs> you really are a worrier, aren't you? It's not that. I just wish we could have all stayed together. This was inevitable. We all have different duties. Cheer up. We'll see them all again. Yeah.